What's going on guys? Wandering Nomad here on the Trucking Nomads channel. Uh, here with some breaking news for you. Um, I know a lot of, or there's a few other people that have put out videos about this. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to outline a specific article. I'll leave the link for that article in the description. Um, this is about Celadon. Celadon is bankrupt. Um, now they are filing Chapter 11 bankruptcy. However, I'm guessing with that, with the Chapter 11, they will do one of two things. They will either sell to a private equity company or do a leveraged buyout. Now, if you want some examples of that, uh, a leveraged buyout was done by the Sears Kmart company and Toys R Us. We know what happened there. Uh, as far as selling to a private equity firm, companies like LME, Falcon, um, th those kind of people, I think Arrow did it as well when they closed. Um, it's basically somebody who will come in and liquidate. That is pretty much what's going to happen. Uh, so there are... Uh, according to SaferWeb, the FMCSA website that shows a company's authority and, uh, you know, their safety rating and stuff like that, um, they have 2,700 power units and 2,500 drivers. This is going to be 2,500 drivers plus, I'm guessing, a couple hundred office staff out of a job at Christmas time. So from this, uh, from this article on Transportation Nation, customers uh, such as, say, FedEx, because uh, I, I think I read in a different article something about FedEx was scrambling to unload Celadon trailers that they had loaded to get them onto other trucks or onto other trailers. Um, Customers were notified on the 5th, which I believe was Thursday or Friday, something like that. Um, they're no longer servicing accounts. Um, customers have confirmed this. Uh, more than just FedEx. I don't remember what other customers were said. Um, but customers have confirmed that Celadon is no longer servicing accounts. Uh, again, it's Chapter 11 which means they can continue operations, but they're most likely going to liquidate in some way or another, whether it be Celadon liquidating or a private equity firm. Most employees, according to Transportation Nation, will likely not be notified until Monday. If you are a Celadon driver and you have been notified, please let me know so I can correct that. Um, but most employees will likely not be notified until Monday when normal business hours resume. I will be actually placing a call to Celadon to get on them. It doesn't matter that it's a weekend. We need to get on them. Everybody needs to call Celadon and make sure that they have notified drivers now because who knows when they do this, whatever they're doing on Monday, who knows if that's when they're gonna turn off fuel cards and strand drivers. We need to take action now. We need to protect these drivers and make sure that they're not stuck. Um, the fuel cards are currently operational according to Transportation Nation, but you know they're unsure when the fuel cards will be deactivated. So if you are a Celadon driver, Fill your tank. Fill your tank and have an exit strategy. Whether it be fill your tank and go home, or deliver your load that you're on and go home, or uh, have a plane ticket ready, or a bus ticket ready, or a rental car ready, um, I, I will be looking into what organizations may be able to help if you are stranded. And I will put out a video when I have information on 
possible fundraisers or um, organizations that will help you get home. Uh, I know there's a bunch of drivers out here that if you're in route, they will pick you up. They'll pick you up and they'll take you somewhere. Um, somewhere where you might be able to get a ride or something like that. It happened with Falcon. There were, there were people out there. Um, companies, I'm sure, will immediately, you know, sell it on drivers wherever you are. We'll, we'll rent you a car to come to our company. But I will, I will post, or I will update when, when we know who's doing what and what they can do for you. Um, the driver recruitment website is still up, which is, again, one of those things that I think Monday, everything's going to happen. I think everything's going to go down on Monday and I don't want to see any of you guys, any of you guys out there stranded. So if you're a Celadon driver, if it was me, if I was with Celadon right now, what I would do is I would deliver the load that I am currently on or try to, I don't know what you, what Celadon calls it, a T call or something like that. Um, and then honestly, I would bobtail home and empty my truck. I do not trust what's going on. And at least there's some kind of notice. At least there's some kind of notice, even if it's from us. Um, even if the company isn't giving the notice. I'm glad that this time there is some kind of notice like there wasn't with Falcon and LME and Arrow and 20 years ago Consolidated Freight. Um, we weren't able to spread the word like this. So, guys, take care of yourselves. Make sure you have an exit plan. Celadon will be out of business this time next year. It's just a matter of how they're going to do it. Um, honestly, I don't see them making it to Easter no matter how they do it. But there's a chance that come next week, those doors will be closed. So make sure that you guys have a plan to get out. You know, if you guys get a paycheck, got a paycheck this week, as uh, make sure you have a way home. Save save enough money out of that paycheck to make sure you have an exit strategy. Be safe. Take care of yourselves, because that company isn't going to. Celadon is not going to take care of you, so please take care of yourselves. Put you and your family first. Be safe, guys.